these pieces should be medium carbon steel, but I'm not overly concerned about that. I would like to try to make a pair of scissors, and it's something I've never done before. You think I would have, being that I make so many tongs, uh, things that are joined halves, but I just never have. So I just want to forge a pair out and see how it goes. You might remember I once made a pair of simple tin snips, and the result was middling, but these are things that I think I want to try to do more and more of. Scissors, pliers, snips, stuff like that. With a little bit of practice, uh, these are things that should fit into my wheelhouse given my penchant for making tongs. Not all scissors are identical halves, but this pair will be, and so I'll only show myself making one half. So the long side of that piece is going to be the cutting edge, and so I skew what will be the finger ring upwards a little bit, just to remind myself of that. I need to give a really big shout out to Stephen Boudreau for his recent extremely generous donation. He purchased some tongs and upon receiving them sent me a very large donation. It's very much appreciated. Thanks Stephen. in the anvil that piece is burning something. I can't recall what, but probably the rubber mat. As is, it's a very stubby looking pair of scissors. No matter, I plan to draw it out a bit. A 
a piece of scale the size of a quarter stuck to my heel. Dang, that hurt. And I'm a fool for not wearing better protective clothing. But I never take chances with my eyes. The finger rings got bent over too much. So I'll use my bending jig to make the adjustment. Sorry, folks, the only animal that was injured in the making of this video is me. If I only had a pair of socks. So I read that a good bevel angle for a pair of scissors is somewhere between 75 and 80 degrees. I'm pretty much just making this 90 degrees and just take it from there. The more you can accomplish via forging, the less you have to fiddle around with grinding, filing, and maybe even milling. Yeah, I know I shouldn't wipe with my finger, but maybe I want my finger to feel like my heel.
I'm going to use a piece of copper to rivet this together. This funky cutter I made jumps a lot, but it's still useful for stuff like this. I really don't need to grind the back ends of this. It's just more for aesthetics. And if I do grind too far though, I have to be careful because it could mess with the cutting edges. This scissor works, no question about it, but I can already see about three areas where I could have made improvements. First is I could have created more leverage by having a longer shank between the rivet and the finger rings. Second, it needs a stop to prevent it from closing too far. And third, I could have spent more time to file the inside of the finger rings to make it more comfortable. This wheel made out of pieces of leather does a good job at polishing and also does a great job of stropping on stuff like knives. It's polished, but then I start to think this hand-forged pair of scissors needs a more antique look. I decide to drop it in the oxalic acid bath for a few hours. See what happens. A very nice dark patina. I also like how some copper was polished over to the sides and still remains. So buffing here should highlight the gray green look, give it more of a gloss. This has been a really fun project for me. More to come. So stay tuned and I'll catch you guys next time.